Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be something pretty unique and I'm excited to show you guys. This is six months worth of empties. So I've collected all my empties from January 2022 to June 2022, technically this video should have gone up in July, <laughs> but just so you know what I use up realistically in half a year time span, also it's really good for me to see myself because this helps me decide, you know, how many products I can realistically go through in a year, in six months, in three months, which is in a season, in one month. So it really puts everything into perspective for myself. So definitely recommend if you guys don't already track your empties, you don't have to keep keep all of your empties like I do. Um, you could just track it in a like Google sheet or in a notepad on your phone, um, anything you want. But I track it by keeping track of them. I just keep all of them. <laughs> so I do also want to preface this by saying I'm not going to throw any of these away just yet. I'm going to keep them until December and then we're going to do a January recap of everything I used in 2022 um, and then I will recycle everything. So just want to mention this is a lot of consumption. It's kind of crazy, but I will recycle everything. I'll um, clean out all the candles, get rid of the wax in them so that I can recycle the glass of the candles. The plastic of most of the body care is always recyclable. So just remember, you know, to recycle all of your stuff that you go through because consumption is a thing. We live in consumerist America, or at least I do. You may not, but I do <laughs> live in America and it's real. So just wanted to preface this. And if you want to leave a hate comment, go right ahead. I'm just going to delete it and block you from the channel. So anyways, I have set out all of the candles that I've used so far this year and I'm really excited to show you. I'm gonna go one by one through my categories and set them out on the bed or on the floor, depending on how dirty they are. Like body care is gonna have to go on the floor because I have a white bedspread. <laughs> so not gonna do everything on the bed, but let's start off with candles and I'm gonna turn the camera around. All right, so here's all my candles. I did count them up and I've gone through 25 so far in the six months of 2022. <laughs> and I did sort them spring, summer, fall, and winter. Although it would technically be like, Winter was January, February, so like kind of going around, but I'm just going to show them in order of that way. So we are going to start off with Love Every Bunny Sweet Carrot Cake, Whipped Coffee, Laundry Day, Positively Sweet Dark Chocolate Truffles. These are both from Valentine's Day Collection. This was such a good candle. And so was Coconut Cream Pie. I loved that one. Blueberry Pie, Strawberry Daiquiri from this summer, Champagne Margarita, and I'm just considering Strawberry Pound Cake a summer candle because I did just pick it up in the summer and just finished it. Okay, and then fall candles we have here. These I kind of just finished off in the first couple months of the year, trying to finish off the rest of my fall and winter candles before I moved into spring and summer. So these are left over from last year. I have Hello Gorgeous Pumpkin Spice Latte in a single wick. I also have this pumpkin spice latte from a local vendor um, in my area. She was selling this at a, uh, at a farmer's market. So I got pumpkin spice latte. Pumpkin Bonfire from last year, and a fall flannel shirt from Huntington Homes at Aldi. Pumpkin Donut Shop, actually this is from 2020, love this one. Cinnamon Irish Cream, and Pumpkin Pie from Goose, Goose Creek, which was definitely a sitter, but I totally recommend it. I might pick this up actually in not this like soy wax one this year. Is this soy? I think this is soy. I might pick this up in a Goose Creek three wick this year because I did really love this scent. And then winter stuff. I'm considering Champagne Toast Winter just because I bought it at Candle Day um, and I used it in the winter. So Champagne Toast, Peppermint Sugar Cookie, love, love, love this scent. Raspberries and Whipped Vanilla, which I actually more so burned in spring, but really, really enjoyed it. Love Cotton Candy Champagne, also a really great one for spring. Peppermint Hot Chocolate, Peppermint Marshmallow. We have Blackberry Creme Frosting. I think I also brought this one out in like the transition from winter to spring, so like March. Tis the Season and the Perfect Christmas, which I actually really enjoyed. Um, December going into January is when I burned this one. And as you can tell... <laughs> It got pretty sooty, but it was a really, really good scent. So that's all the candles that I've used so far this year. Okay, next category we have wax melts, and I've used up 36 this year. So I have them separated by kind of like season for Scentsy. 
um, but by brand. So let's go ahead and start with Scentsy. So up here I have like spring and summer. And the first one is the set from Easter. Blueberry Burst, Lemon Drizzle Cake, and Raspberry Lollipop. I loved this set. And then we have Rainbows and Butterflies, Pineapple Sorbet, and Coconut and Cotton. This one's so, so yummy for the bedroom. Perfectly Pomegranate, Cocoa Lime, Clementine Cupcake, Strawberry Swirl, love that one. Pink Haze and Watermelon Wave. And then kind of like fall, winter, we had Graham Cracker Crunch. This one was so good. Cranberry Pumpkin Spice, Vanilla Bean Buttercream, Breakfast in Bed, Orchard Apple and Spice, and Toasted Acorn and Oak. I loved this one. And Silver Bells. So that's all the Scentsy. And then coming over here, I have two random brands. I have Huntington Homes First Snow. This is from Aldi. This is like the only one I ever picked up from Aldi and it actually performed really well. So I'll definitely consider getting more from them um, in the fall and winter this year. And then Vanilla Bean and Amber from Threshold at Target. Really, really good as well. Nice, just like fresh and clean scent. And then I have Kringle Candle slash Country Candle. So we have White Chocolate Chai. That was really yummy. Lava Cake smelled horrid. I didn't even finish this. It made me like gag. Hot chocolate, which was also really good. Uh, Welcome Home and Candy Cane Cheesecake, which was, you couldn't smell it at all. So I don't think I'll be doing a Kringle slash Country Candle wax order anytime soon. And then I have just one random Better Homes and Gardens in Vanilla and Cookie Crunch. Really, really yummy. I have three of these little mainstays, super cheap little like tiny ones. Um, hazelnut Cream, Blueberry Sorbet, and Crispy Treats. Crispy Treats is so yummy. I have these sensational ones, Cookies and Cream, which was absolutely to die for, Feeling Cozy, and Strawberry Crunch. And then I have three from Sonoma, which have always performed really well for me. And as you can see, I got them all on clearance. So I have um, Coconut Sea Salt, which is basically mahogany teakwood, Fresh Morning Donuts, really good donut scent, and Mango Margarita. So that's all for the wax melts. Okay, we had to move to the floor for body care because some of it is a little messy and I didn't want to get my bed all dirty. So here's all the body care I've used up in six months. Lots of hand soaps, as you can see. I tried to order everything by season, so we'll just start off with hand soaps. I did finish up two, four, six, eight, nine hand soaps in six months. Cozy Vanilla Almond, Toasted Vanilla Chai. You guys know this is one of my favorites. Blueberry Maple Pancakes. Coconut Cream Pie, Pistachio Cream Puff, which was also yummy, so yummy. Boardwalk Vanilla Cone, Peach Bellini, just like a regular generic hand soap. Uh, Method Pink Grapefruit and a Mrs. Meyers Lavender. And then for body scrubs, I finished off two from Onyx Bathhouse, one in Dim Buns Dough and one in Stay Toasty. So this was like a cinnamon bun and this was a graham cracker or a, um, a s'more scent. So these were both really yummy. And then Sunrise Woods and the Creamy Body Scrub. Absolutely love this one. And then I finished off a random, just like bath salt um, soak. And I don't even know the brand. The brand is Village Naturals. I got this from Walmart. I've had that for a very long time. Okay, next I finished off three body creams. Now this is really important because in six months, I only got through three, which means I get through about one every two months. So realistically, I should only be picking up one to two per season or else I'm gonna have a lot that stay in my collection for a long time. So just a thing to note there, but I have Coconut Mint Drop. What year is this from? 2020. And I have Christmas Cookies and Raspberry Jam Donut. I absolutely adored all of these body creams, which I think is important for me. It takes me a while to use a body cream, so I have to make sure it's a scent that I absolutely adore um, or else I just won't use it. So these three, I absolutely love the scent of them, so I got through them pretty quickly. And then shower gels. I got through five, so that's about one a month, a little bit less than one a month. Technically, Ryan got through this one, so maybe I got through four, per, <laughs> four over six months. So it takes me like six weeks to get through a full-size shower gel. So in case you wanted all of that information, um, I have strawberry pound cake in the moisturizing body wash. Loved this one. Raspberry jam donut. White pumpkin and chai, classic flannel, which Ryan wore this. It was a, an amazing, amazing scent. And winter candy apple. Okay, body lotion is actually pretty surprising. I only got through two full-size body lotions in six months. So that means I get through one every three months, which is kind of crazy. Crazy to think about because I usually buy more body lotions than body creams. Um, thinking that I get through these faster, but I actually don't. The body lotions do have a longer shelf life than the body creams, so I think I'll still end up getting more body lotions than creams, but 
good to know that I only got through one every three months so far this year. And then I've got a few different minis. So I have two mini body lotions, one in Merry Christmas Ice Cinnamon Roll and one in Merry Christmas Raspberry Sugar. Two shower gels, Hibiscus Paradise and Copper Coconut Sands. I loved both of these. Two little mini body creams, one in hot cocoa and cream and one in love cotton candy champagne. I absolutely want to get another hot cocoa and cream this uh, winter time. I think only in the mini though because I get sick of it after a little bit, but it was really good. And then one mini fine fragrance mist from Pink in Warm and Cozy. And then I got through seven hand creams, which is a little more than one per month. Really proud of myself on that one. I do use these quite often. So I have Whip Berry Meringue, Pink Pineapple Sunrise, love this one. Strawberry Pound Cake, Sweet Whiskey, Merry Cookie, Hot Cocoa and Cream, and Love Cotton Candy Champagne. I loved Hot Cocoa and Cream and Merry Cookie and the hand cream. Those were so good. For perfumes, I'm really slow at using up perfume. So this is a Victoria's Secret roll-on perfume, and I only got through this in six months. <laughs> so I really did love the scent, though, Tease Heartbreaker. I might get this... Um, um, whenever they have like a really good deal on their perfumes. And then I did go through a little mini in vanilla bourbon from the mix bar. Really love this. I will probably purchase a full size. And then I have these four pocket backs, which I'm pretty sure I used up more than four, but maybe I, I threw them all away. But I have two in Twisted Peppermint, one Vanilla Bean Noel, and one Peppermint Sugar Cookie. And then I got through two EOS um, shave, shave creams. Um, one in dry skin and then one for sensitive skin. These are really good. I, I really do like these. So that is all of the body care. Okay, I've got all of my wallflower refills and my little car refills right here. So I went through 19 of these wallflower refills and two car refills. I kind of stopped using these around halfway through the year. Like, I don't know. I stopped using these for a while. So I've only gone through two and I don't know what scent they are. But yeah, I did go through those two. And then I have a few wallflowers that I don't have the plug to or like the actual bottle, but I did go through a Market Peach and Strawberry Pound Cake, such a good scent. Peppermint Sugar Cookie was awesome. Um, winter Candy Apple and Smoked Vanilla, I love Smoked Vanilla. Cozy Linen, Lakeside Morning, two Mahogany Coconuts, so I definitely like that scent. A Laundry Day, Waikiki Beach Coconut and Sun Wash Citrus. And then these eight different Glade Airwick ones are just like the fresh linen scent. We use these pretty much everywhere in our house that we don't have the Bath and Body Works ones, so. Okay, next category, I set out all my skincare that I've been through, but I do have just a couple randoms. I went through two deodorants in six months, so like one every three months, and a pack of multivitamins. Okay, I saved a few of these Tony Moly sheet masks that I've been using. I use like one a month, but I definitely threw away a few of them, but I have those too. Um, and then I did go through one micellar water from NYX. I absolutely love this stuff. It's literally $6 and works so well. I have these two items from Mary Kay. This is the salicylic acid toner and the cleanser. I have CeraVe renewing uh, salicylic acid cleanser and lotion, moisturizer, whatever. I have the Super Goop Play sunscreen. I did like this, but it made me a little oily. So it was nice during the winter, but not now. Um, I have this vitamin C serum that I got for free from Liliana Naturals. I got it as like a free gift with purchase whenever I bought their eye cream, and I did like this. And then I have the Ordinary Hyaluron Marine Hyaluronics Serum. I didn't notice any difference with this, so never going to repurchase that again. I have the Mary Kay Clinical Solutions Vitamin C Serum. I absolutely adore this stuff. I already have it repurchased. I have the Pacifica Clean Shot BHA AHA Peel. I actually did really like this. And then I had just like this random little mini cleanser from Arcona that I got for free from Ulta. Free gift with purchase again. So that's all the skincare. Okay, now I have some makeup products. It's not a lot. I don't go through a ton of makeup, but this is 17 items. I went through four uh, concealers. I've all repurchased these except for the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I just purchased the regular camo concealer. Um, a Milk Makeup Mini Bronzer Stick I've already repurchased. A Milani Make It Last Setting Spray already repurchased. A Cover FX Blurring Primer from like 2014. Kind of gross. Um, two brow gels, which I don't really like either one of them. So I think I have a ColourPop one that I'm using right now that I like. Two liquid liners. Two uh, mascaras. One e.l.f. lip scrub. And then three different um, chapsticks. I really do love the Jack Black um, 
Intense lip balms, these are so, so, so good, especially in this Shea Butter one smells like a vanilla cupcake. It smells so good. Okay, and hair care is the last section that we actually have to go through. So I finished up a giant Joico Moisture Recovery Shampoo. I love this stuff, I swear by it. If you have scalp problems, definitely check this out. They sell it at TJ Maxx. And then I went through three of the Love Beauty and Planet Sulfate Free Shampoo Scrub. I love this stuff also for my dandruff. So I go through about one every two months. It's my holy grail product. I went through a Derma E scalp relief conditioner. I do really love this. It's got like a tingly menthol um, formula. So it feels great on the scalp, but I'm sticking with my Joyco. So I have not repurchased it, but if this was ever sold out or they discontinued it, I go back to Derma E. And then I did get through one living proof scalp care dry scalp treatment. Love this stuff too. And some minis, I got through a little Coco and Eve hair mask. I didn't really care for it. I got through a little Briogeo set. I absolutely hated the shampoo conditioner, horrible, but I really did like the leave-in spray, so. And then I did get through a uh, AG hair care fast food leave-in conditioner, also really like this one. So that's it for the hair care. Okay guys, so that's everything for my six months worth of empties. I think my candles and my body care like really impressive to me um how much I was able to get through and it's just fun to look at everything that I've finished so yeah let me know down below if you recognize any of these things and you also like love them or um remember them if they're older <laughs> but yeah that's everything for today's video just something fun and I thought I'd share everything that I was saving with you guys but I hope you enjoyed if you did like comment and subscribe down below and I will see you all in the next video bye